Hey guys, so today I actually have a very special little video for you. This video is simply a walkthrough of two pictures that I recently took. I feel like I have been making progress. Of course, I still do have a long way to go, but I just wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, this photo right now that you're looking at is a final image that I finished. Now, I'm going to go walk yeah, I'll walk you through my process. Um, this has already been retouched and edit, color edited, all that stuff. I want to show you the steps I took to get this image where it is today. <laughs> it sounds like something monumental. Yeah, so let's uh, look at the original picture. So this is the original. Now when you first look at it, um, it's a really good base in my opinion. I shot this with a single beauty dish above her head. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the colors, so I took it in to Lightroom, picked out some colors that I wanted, and I will show you the coloring that I got from Lightroom. This is the color that I ended up with in Lightroom. So I took it from that to that. That was the first step. Basically, like as you can see, all the details were added, like the clarification to her face. And now you can kind of see the shadows a little bit better. So again, this is just like a simple filter that I created myself and I added it on this picture. Then on top of the filter, I began to retouch. So this is after frequency separation. And I've been going a little more simpler with my retouching. Uh, I don't, I leave the under eye a little bit now. I kind of like that natural look. I just kind of clean up obvious blemishes and stuff like that. No one's perfect. And then on top of that, I fixed this bottom portion of her dress. Um, just sticking out a little bit. And I had to fix the shadow on there as well. Again, not perfect. I'm still learning. I'm not like a really great retoucher yet. Yeah, so I, I fixed that shadow under there. Then came the fun part where I added the colors. So after all my layers, I came up with this kind of color. And I kept the detail of the skin. As you can see, like if I zoom in, you can see. My computer is being really dramatic right now, by the way. Um, I kept the skin detail. My sister, when she looked at this picture, she's like, oh, I can see her pores. I'm like, great, because that's the look I was going for. I don't want it to look flawless. I don't want the pores to be hidden. So I actually like that kind of look now. Again, uh, I could have done better with uh, the retouching on the arm. It's so hard, you guys. I added a little bit of extra color. And that is how I got to this image. So again, this is a before. And this is after. A uh, big difference in my photography from... I'd say even last year, this is a huge difference from what I did. I kind of calmed down with the editing and the coloring. So I want, I do want to keep the natural colors, but I do want to try something different. And on to the next image. Let's go. So this is my next image that I did. And the bouquet was made especially for the photo shoot by Mason Ferrola. Uh, they're a really great florist, and I think it just fit really well with this picture. To begin, let me show you the before, because I know you're all probably like really curious. So this is the before. That's the raw image straight from the camera, and that's after with all my editing and coloring. Honestly, I really want to go crazy with the coloring in this picture, but I really held back and I toned it down a lot. I kept it really simple. I actually really wanted something like this in my portfolio where it was simple coloring. It didn't look like, I don't know, a cartoon, which I like cartoons, so it's okay. But not, not today, not today. So again, this is the before, and this is the final image that I came up with. So as you can see, again, I kept that editing and retouching really simple. You can even still see the pores in her face. Um, not everything is retouched. I kept it really simple. Let me show you guys the steps that I took, just like last time. So let me show you guys. This is the coloring that I did in Lightroom. So let me show you that before and after. Took this into Lightroom, very subtle. I brought out those shadows and really nothing too crazy. I changed even like the color of her lipstick changes to a more neutral tone. So after I did this frequency separation, that's the before and that's after. 
I added my final colors layer and let me show you guys the colors that I added. So these are the colors that I added. They're kind of similar to the colors I used in the previous picture because I wanted them to kind of be cohesive. I used a lot of selective color for this one. Just brought out uh, especially the highlight on her cheek and kind of just kept muted colors everywhere. Again, very natural. Let me show you guys an even closer look. So that is before and that's after. This is the original image and this is the finished image. So it's just like a series of steps that it takes to get to the final image. At least for me, this is how I do it. Some people probably only edit in Photoshop. Some people only edit in Lightroom. I like to use a combination of both. So this, I guess this just gives you an idea of um, my, you know, my process and kind of how I edit and, you know, retouch my pictures. So hopefully this was kind of helpful or kind of at least cool to look at. Let me know if you guys have any questions and thank you for watching.